Hi guys, welcome back to another video by me, Ufanea. So, um, I thought I would show you how to make a basic, um, shooter game. So, uh, I guess, uh, let's get started. First, um, make a backdrop. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do just actually just gray. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Thought it was on the gray backdrop okay there then paint a sprite um so we can call the sprite player and right now we just have one weapon so we can just say pistol for now um this is important when you're designing this kind of costume um or the pointing in direction will not look right make sure to um to center the circle and when you have arms and stuff um just don't center that like don't center the costume again just keep it like as the circle so then i'm just gonna make a really quick like circle guy basic gun. I mean, that's what mine's gonna be. Um, just do a gray. Oh, now that looks like it's the same as the, uh, the backdrop. So, there. Then, make it a little wider. Okay, there. Now, we have the player. Um, can now go into the codes. So what are we gonna do first? Well, first we can switch costume to pistol. Um, we're gonna show, we're gonna go to front layer. Um, yeah, so then we can um, maybe, you know what, I just wanna edit one thing here. Okay, well, this is mine. I can't get it exactly how I want it, but... You know what? Here, I'll just fix it right now. Guys, I fixed the costume. Made it a little better. Um, I'm just going to change these outline sizes to, like... I mean, never mind. Um, there, there's the player. Um, I'm gonna set the size to, like, 130. 50, so it's a little bigger and easier to see. And then, okay, I need to change this. So. Okay, sorry for the delay with the costumes. Now we can center the player at zero, zero, so it will go to the middle. Then we can also say point in direction 90. Then we can say forever. Um, make a block. We could just call it, I don't know, game or something. Because basically, if we just make this one without screen crash, it'll just basically run better. So, then, once we make this game thing, then we can, um, then we can say, yeah, we can say, if he right arrow, actually, we're, I'm going to use WASD for this. Um, because it will make it better. Uh, well, it'll just make it easier to use your mouse and um, the arrow keys at the same time, and left you unless you are left-handed or something. Um, so yeah, we can say change Y by, and then we can maybe have an upgrade shop. I don't know if I'm gonna add that or not, but I might. So we can make a new variable called speed, 
good. We can just make full sprites. Um, can set speed to like three, maybe. Then, if key S is pressed, um, then we can set. Then we can change our Y by um, speed times negative one, so it'll go downwards. And then we can just duplicate this and say D. Um, and do right arrow and change this to a change x by. Then we can do A um, instead of left arrow and change this to a change x by. And now we can move like WSD. And then um, we can also say uh, point towards mouse pointer. So now, oh, um, I had a problem. I forgot to scratch and turbo. I'm on automatically centers costumes if you upload them from a previous game. I think this is good. Okay, now, um, now we can make like a bullet. Um, so I'll call this bullet, and then, um, we can just draw a quick bullet here. We could say, um, 17 i think is like the perfect yellow and we can say no outline i mean uh, no outline and then draw the bullet so be like this then we can say a circle um we can do like that and we can um, delete this then we can do this to pointed Change this to pointed, I mean, this to pointed. Then we can just make it smaller until it fits the right size that we have. And then, so there, this is not a very good bullet, it's just, it's just what it's gonna be, I guess. So it's, it's like 60, and then, Maybe more like 40. Okay, there. Then say when clicked, hide. But then um, a forever loop. And then forever if. And then an or. So this is going to be for the shooting. So we can do either space to shoot or mouse down. Then we can say. Um, can say create a clone of myself and then wait a certain amount of time and we can make another new variable called reload speed because I'm also gonna probably show how to make a uh, reload speed upgrade um, but th this is just gonna be pretty simple though. so then we can set reload speed to like 0.4 and then now we just need to do the clones the the codes for the, for the clone so when I start as a clone um, we're gonna point in the direction um, the direction of the player so it'll point in the same direction that the player was when the bullet was fired then we can show um, because we wanted to show uh, and then we can say go to back layer and then we can say repeat until, so it'll keep running until one of the conditions in this input is true. So we can say um, repeat until um, we're touching the edge. Um, so it'll just keep going. Um, move 10 steps. And then we want to delete this clone. So now, Um, we can just say move 10 steps before we show. So, hold up. Okay. I don't know what that problem is. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot. Also, we need a go to player. Sorry. Um, there, and now, um, move 30 steps, maybe? Oh, yeah, now it looks like it's coming out of the gun. 
Um, the gun kind of looks like it's just no fill, so I'm just gonna make it a little darker so you can tell the difference between the gun and like the 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 like the the background. Um, there. So now, okay, that didn't really do anything actually. So now we can, sorry, we can shoot and we can move. Um, but it doesn't, it seems like they seem kind of weird when we're shooting. Actually, you know what, yeah, I think that's actually good. Okay, so now we've got that all done. We can now... Now, I think that is a good start for part one of this tutorial, but before I end this video, um, um, I might add something else, um, hmm. yeah, well, I think this is all for now, um, uh, make sure to subscribe and like the video and check out my channel for more uh, videos and I will be uploading the next part of this tutorial shortly. Um, bye!